Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Okay. Um, thank you, Daisy. All right, everybody, be welcome once again. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Katia. Thank you very much. Okay, let's do this. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you right now. Oh, this. Just a second, please. Okay. Having some technical difficulties here, but I think everything's going to be right right now. Okay. There's a screen. Okay. As usual, I'm going to uh, just call the attendance here very quickly. And uh, when you hear your name, please let me know. Okay. Let's begin. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Ayala. Alejandro Jose, are you here? Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández. No. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Okay. Through the chat, she, she says present. Okay, thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Here, teacher. Thank you. Selina Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Selina Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Not here. Denis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Good evening, present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodriguez Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Ernesto, I don't think he's going to continue, but I'm going to call his name. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. We have a chat entry right here. Anayanira says, okay. Thank you, Anayanira. Your attendance has been registered. Okay, um, Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. He's here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. No? Okay. All right, so here we go. Jose Eraibin Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. We have a chat entry, Selina Yvette. Okay, Selina Yvette. Thank you very much. Katia Graciela Juan de Candray. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. you. Good evening. Maritza Isabel Mendez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Present teacher. Thank you. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. 
present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to call some of the names again. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla, are you here? Alicia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, present teacher. Hello, thank you. Was that Ana Filomena? Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Ah, thank you. I didn't see, <laughs> Good I didn't evening. see your Good evening. I didn't see you. <laughs> I didn't see your face. So, okay. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. No, okay. So just about three people have now responded. So I'm going to call the attendance at the end of the class. So everybody take a look. This is uh, welcome. It's Inglés Pre Avanzado Modulo Uno. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. Once again, this is session. This is not session number nine, sorry. Made a mistake here. This is session number 10. I'm showing the wrong card. That's the right card. Um, and today is March the 14th of 2023. So let's do this. Okay. So what are we going to do? Well, first, we're going to have a general review on the topic that we started yesterday, which was past simple versus past continuous. So a very, very general review. So what is this? Take a look. Um, we use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Okay, very important. If the action is complete, then you use past simple. For example, if they ask you, what did you do last weekend? You say, well, I went to the movies. That could be one. I played tennis. I read a book. I cleaned the windows. I went to a concert. I stayed home. So basically, you have it right there. All of these verbs are in past simple. Why are they in past simple? Because these actions are complete. They started and they finished. Okay, so let me ask you, okay, what did you do last weekend? Who wants to participate? You can tell me just one, one sentence. That will be fine. What did you do last weekend? Ana Filomena. I went to the beach. I went to the beach. Okay, great. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. um, someone else? What did you do? Jose Raivin. I attended classes every night. I attended classes uh, oh, every at, afternoon. A, a, every afternoon. You mean uh, on Saturdays and Sundays too? No, uh, from no. Monday to th to Thursday. Monday to Thursday. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, but the question is, what did you do last weekend? That means that means last ah, Saturday last and last Sunday. Uh, uh -huh, last weekend. Sorry. It's okay. Last Don't weekend. worry. Don't worry. Well, I went to a restaurant with some friends. I went to a restaurant with some friends. Okay, good. Nice. Did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we celebrated. Mm -hmm. uh, the One of my friend's birthday. Okay, great. Okay, so you were celebrating a birthday. Very good. Okay, sounds great. Uh, thank you, uh, Jose. Daisy Carolina, what did you do last weekend? I stayed home. You stayed home. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's my kind Only. of weekend. That's my kind of weekend. Okay. <laughs> okay, Francisco Alberto Lemus. Okay, just uh, entered the class. I'm just going to, uh, let's see, Francisco. Thank you, Francisco. Um, then I saw, I saw someone raising the hand. I saw, who did I see? Just saw someone raising the hand. I think it was Boris. Boris, were you raising your hand? Did you want to participate? And then Noemi. Boris? Yes, teacher. Okay, so I, raised, did... I raised my hand. Okay, okay. What what did you do last weekend? Last weekend on Saturday, um, I stayed home, but uh, mm. on Sunday, I had to work. Okay, so you had to work. And you said Saturday and Saturday you stayed home, right? So what did you do in your house on Saturday? Watching movies. Um, okay, so you say well, I, I watched I watched movies. Watch movies? Uh-huh. Um 
Well, uh, uh, walk head, walking, walk at the dog. I walk the dog. Okay, good. All right. Sounds great. Thank you, Boris. Noemi, Alicia, what did you do last weekend? I went in the church. I went, okay. You, you say, I went to church. To church. Mm -hmm. I went to church. Okay, good. On yes. Sunday, I imagine. On Sunday, yes. Okay, great. Very good. Thanks. Okay. So um, that's the idea. Basically, you're talking, all of you are talking about activities that you did on a specific day and that you completed. Okay, these actions are all complete. We have a chat entry. Jenny Elizabeth says present. Jenny Elizabeth Santiana. Thank you very much. Is Alejandro Jose Quintanilla here, by the way? No, probably not. Okay. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's uh, continue. So what is the affirmative form? The affirmative form, as we studied yesterday, is the subject plus the verb in the past. That's how you do it. You say, Abraham worked in this company and my friends went to Mexico last month. We are showcasing here two types of verbs. The first one is worked. It's a regular verb. And you know that regular verbs have rules. Okay. So what about the rule right there? Normally, the end, they end in ed, d, or ied. Okay. That's the rule. And sometimes you need to add an extra consonant before the ed. Um, but what about irregular verbs? This is the past form of the verb go. Okay, so the past of go is went. And uh, there are many other irregular verbs, okay, as you know. So um, that's the tricky part with the regular verbs, that they don't follow the rules, okay? They exist outside the law. So basically, they have their own past form and their own past participle form, which is something that we're going to be needing very, very soon. Okay, so um, the negative form is the subject plus didn't, and then you have to use the verb again, but this time you have to use it in base form. So when you say Abraham worked in this company, the negative form will be Abraham didn't work in this company. If you notice the verb is back in base form, not in past form, okay? It's back in base form. So my friends went to Mexico last month becomes my friends didn't go to Mexico last month. You have to be very, very careful here because otherwise you will have to say my friends didn't went and that will be a mistake. So you have to be very careful. We have a visitor, Victoria Miron, okay? Wants to say something. Hello, Victoria. Hello, buenas noches a todos. Les quito un minutito de su tiempo. Eh, no hay problema. Interrumpo su clase nada más para brindar unas indicaciones a todos los participantes de la manera más atenta. Les solicito, por favor, enviar el comprobante de manual a aquellos que estén pendientes de hacerlo. A su vez, también recordarles que ya estamos recibiendo documentos de reinscripción muy importante. Tienen hasta el día de mañana para enviarlos. Ya estamos armando los grupos y nosotros requerimos con urgencia esos documentos, ¿verdad? Para que den, eh, y den continuidad a su proceso educativo. Eh, importante, no se van a procesar documentos de reinscripción a aquellos que queden pendientes de comprobante de manual. Por eso lo requerimos con urgencia, por favor. Además, el recordatorio de la plataforma. Hay muchos que no van, no van al día. Necesito, por favor, que verifiquen las secciones, eh, que vayan cada sección al menos con el 80, como mínimo, como el 80% de eh, progreso, ¿verdad? Eh, podemos llegar al 100. Yo sé que ustedes pueden. Para esta semana, tenemos que el día jueves estaríamos revisando. Tienen que tener completa la sección 4 y la mitad de la sección 5, ¿ok? Así que les dejo allí el encargo. Por favor, eh, solicito que lo hagan el envío de estos documentos en la mayor brevedad posible. Ok, muchísimas gracias. Pasen feliz noche. Gracias. Thank you very much. Ok. Ok, so um, back to the explanation. You say, my friends didn't go to Mexico last month. So you have to say didn't go. If you say didn't went, that will be incorrect. That will be a mistake. And the question form is did plus the subject plus the verb again in base form. So if the sentence is Abraham worked in this company, the question will be did Abraham work in this company? Again, if you notice, the verb is in base form. My friends went to Mexico last month is did your friends, or you can say did my friends also, did your friends go to Mexico last month? 
Again, the verb is in base form. You never say, did your friends went to Mexico? That will be incorrect. Okay, so um, in other words, the rule is, in past simple, you will use the verb in past only in affirmative sentences. If the sentence is negative, or if you have a question, then the verb is in base form. Okay, very, very important. Never forget. Another thing about the past simple is, as I explained yesterday, that it's the same for all subjects. It's the same for I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. The same, exactly the same. It doesn't change. It doesn't have a special form for he, she, it, and it doesn't have a special auxiliary for he, she, it. It's the same, the, the verb in past for all subjects, and also the auxiliary did for all subjects. So that's a good thing. You don't have to worry about the third person singular form. Moving on. So we use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. Let me get a little bit more comfortable in this chair. So um, again, we use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. So what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? There's a question. These people say, I was walking the dog. This other person says, I was working at the office. And this other person says, sorry, I just had dinner. Uh, I was doing exercise. So um, question, I want to ask you, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? We're talking about an incomplete activity in a specific moment in the past. For example, if you want to know, you say like, teacher, what were you doing? You know, last Saturday at 10 a.m. I say, I was teaching a class. <laughs> because I'm a teacher, I teach all the time. So I was teaching a class. Nadia Isolina, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? In my case, I was, um, went to market. Okay, but you have to use a verb in ING. Maybe you can say, I was uh, buying the groceries. You can say. I, I was um, buying in, mm -hmm. in the market. I was buying, uh, was it the market or the supermarket? In the market. In the market. Okay, so what were you buying? Were you buying vegetables and other things? Vegetables and fruits. Okay. Chicken fish and okay i was buying vegetables and other things at the market so there you go you say i was buying so uh, nadia was in process of doing this okay she hadn't finished she began before 10 and she finished after 10 so that's what she was doing exactly at 10 a.m. So um, someone else wanted to participate. Anna Filomena, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? I was cooking. Okay, I was cooking. What were you cooking? Pastelitos. Pastelitos. Ah, okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, you were cooking pastelitos. Yes. That sounds, sounds delicious. Okay, nice. You're making me hungry now. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Well, I need more participants. What were you doing? Okay. Show me that you can use this structure, please. What were you doing at 10, last Saturday at 10 a.m.? We can change the time if you want. Mm -hmm. Who else wants to participate? Don't be shy. Okay. Daisy, Noemi, Jose, and Boris. Okay. Tengan la manita levantada para que no se me olvide quién va. And then it is. So, Daisy. I was walking with my best friend. I was walking with my best friend. Okay. Where, where were you going? Um, in, in Spanish, uh, we say, donde apunte la nariz. Donde apunte la nariz. So, you, you didn't have a, a, a specific destination. You were just walking. Doing exercise, okay. Yes. Enjoying the, the air. Okay, that's that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Noemi, what were you doing last Saturday at ten a.m.? I was cleaning in my house. I was painting. Cleaning. 
cleaning. Eating. Limpia, limpia ah, ah, I was cleaning. Okay, I was cleaning Clean my house. My house. I was yes. cleaning my house. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Very nice. Those are the house chores. Very good. Uh, Jose, what were you doing at 10 a.m. on Saturday, last Saturday? I was doing the laundry. I was doing the laundry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I hate doing the laundry, but okay. Okay, that's, you have to do what you have to do. Thank you, Jose. Boris, what were you doing last Saturday at 10? Yeah, I was walking the dog. I was walking the dog. Okay, good. What kind of dog do you have? Oh, two big dogs, uh, one black and one uh, white. Okay, okay, two, black and white. Okay, so were you walking both dogs at the same time or only one? Only one. Only one, okay. Yeah, because it's a, they're it's big. Alone. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, I imagine it's difficult. Okay, thank you, Boris. Okay. It is, okay, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? I was uh, sure because I had a spiritual reset. I don't know, say. Ah, that's a mm -hmm. re retreat. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. maybe, because... maybe okay, uh, but maybe you remember to use the structure, right? So you have to use mm -hmm. the verb be and the verb in ing. Maybe we can say something like, I was participating in a church uh, yeah. retreat or spiritual retreat okay i was yeah. participating in a church retreat okay okay there you go so you have the verb be i was and then the verb in ing which is participate participating okay in a church retreat okay that's nice thank you um <laughs> anna yanira okay what were you doing um i was um giving back some things th at the store i was uh, i was giving back or i was returning some things yes. to a yes. store I okay why were they like low quality or because uh, the things mm -hmm. uh, they are not like i suppose Ah, okay. So... I bought I bought in online. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's the problem with buying things online that they show you a picture. Yes. And then you say, "Yeah, this is what I want," but then when you get it, it's something else. Mm, it's 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 a little bit risky. It's it's convenient. I have done it before, but I yes. have also had bad experiences because some people advertise one thing and then deliver a different thing. Mm. So that's a problem. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to go through that. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth, what were you doing last Saturday at 10? I, I was swimming in the pool. I was swimming in the pool. Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> Enjoying a yes. good time. Were you with your family? Yes. I'm with my friend Marisa and my son, my daughter. Okay, with your friend Maritza. Well, this the same Maritza from from this class or a different Maritza? Yes. yes. This, this Maritza. My Maritza. Oh, okay. Yes, All my, right. My, my, my friend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Good that you were having a, a nice time together. Okay. Very good. Very good. Dennis, how about you? I was playing rock music in a band with my friend Saul. This Saul or a different Saul? Yes. This Saul. Yes, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dennis, is, Dennis is a singer and uh -huh. also he plays, he usually plays the piano and the bass. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And me also, I play the, the piano, the bass. Uh -huh. and yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, playing the piano and the bass, that's a lot, actually. Okay. And, and, and I play, um, and also I play the piano, the bass. And the guitar as well. Okay, the piano, the bass, and the guitar. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so th this is why you have this like uh, long hair, like 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 Enrique. Because Bum he is a uh -huh. rockster. <laughs> because he's a rockster. He's like like Enrique Bumburi from from Héroe del Silencio or something like that, right? Have you seen the guy? So uh, that's the idea. Okay, pretty nice. That's great. <laughs> Thanks everybody for your participation. That's that, that was really cool. 
Okay, so, well, let's take a look. Uh, past continuous, this is the structure as a review from yesterday, right? The affirmative form is the subject plus was or where, and then the verb in ing. Now, remember, you use was with the subjects I, he, she, and it, okay? I, he, she, and it was. And you use where with the subjects you, we, and they. So, example, Susan, because Susan is she, Susan was watching TV, okay? The kids, and the kids is the equivalent, I mean, it's they, sorry, there's a mosquito here. They were playing baseball, okay? So you have to use was or were and then the verb in ing. That's the idea. Negative form, you have to use the subject plus the negative of the verb be. And the negative of the verb be in the past is wasn't for I, he, she, and it, and weren't for you, we, and they, okay? And then the verb in ing. So um, if you say Susan was watching TV, the negative form should be Susan wasn't watching TV, okay? The kids were playing baseball, the negative form would be the kids weren't playing baseball, all right? What about the question form? For the question form, you have to use was or where and then the subject and then the verb in ing. So if, this, if the original sentence was Susan was watching TV, the question should be, basically you just have to switch the verb be and the subject, they change places. And then you have, was Susan watching TV? And were the kids playing baseball? That's the thing. Now, uh, this is different from past simple in one thing. Look, in affirmative forms, negative forms and question forms, you will always use the verb in ing, okay? Verb in ing, affirmative sentences. In negative form, also you use the verb in ing. In question form, also you need the verb in ing. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, if it's affirmative, negative, or question form, you will use it, okay? Very, very important. Now, uh, do me a favor and try not to confuse one thing with the other, okay? So there are some things that don't combine, or there are some things that combine, right? Every time you see did, or you say didn't, you have to use a verb in base form, okay? And every time you see was, or the negative form wasn't, where, or weren't, you have to use a verb in ing, okay? ¿Por qué les digo esto? Tengan mucho cuidado. Si ustedes ven el past simple, siempre que está el auxiliar did o su forma negativa, didn't, van a ocupar el verbo en forma base. Y luego si está was, wasn't, were or weren't, okay, you have to use the verb in ing. Les digo esto porque a veces se confunde la gente, sobre todo cuando está estudiando esto, y combinan el did y el didn't con el verbo en ing, o combinan el was y el wasn't, were y weren't con un verbo en forma base. Así que, que no se les vaya a cruzar ahí, ¿verdad? La estructura. Very careful, be very careful right there. Okay, siempre va didn't, didn't, el verbo en forma base. Y cuando tengan was, wasn't, were, weren't, entonces el verbo en ing. Okay, very, very important. Okay, chat entry here. It's my case. Nadie says it's my case. <laughs> bueno, aquí estamos dando ya el, el tip para que no, no nos perdamos ahí. Okay, so um, we did this yesterday, so we're not going to do it again. Okay. And uh, here's some explanation, right? Past simple. What did you do yesterday morning? We played tennis because it says yesterday morning. Yesterday morning is over and the activity finished. So if you started at 10 and you finished at 1130, that means that we played tennis. That's a complete action. But if I ask you, what were you doing at 1030? In that specific moment, what were you doing? ¿Qué estaba haciendo? Justo las diez y media. So you say, we were playing tennis. Now, if you started at 10 and you finished at 11.30, at 10.30, the activity was not complete. The activity was in progress. So we were playing tennis. That was an action in progress. Some more examples include, Jack read a book yesterday. That means from beginning to end. He finished the book. Jack was reading a book when the phone rang. In that moment, Jack was in process of reading a book. Did you watch the movie on TV last night? 
were you watching TV when I called you in that moment? Were you watching TV? So that's the difference between past simple and past continuous. You can say that something happened that's past simple in the middle of something else that's past continuous, like Anna called me while we were having dinner. So there's an action in progress, which in this case is we were having dinner, okay? And then there is an interrupting action and Anna called me. That's the idea. It was raining when I got up. I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. Something else, when introduces a clause in past simple, usually, okay? And while usually introduces a clause in past continuous, you say, we were having dinner when Matt called me. If you see, you use when and after that past simple. Or you can say the same idea if you say, Matt called me while we were having dinner while usually introduces the clause in past continuous. Pero cuidado, también se puede ocupar when para presentar el past continuous, pero es menos común. I was studying for a test when I heard the strange noise. So you were studying, okay, studying, and then, okay, that action interrupted the other action. So I was studying for a test when I heard the strange noise. If you want to express the same idea, beginning with the past simple and finishing with the past continuous, you say, I heard the strange noise while, mientras, while I was studying for a test, okay? Sandra finished the report uh, while we were having lunch, okay? Sandra finished the report while we were having lunch. Or you can say, we were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. And finally, I saw Daniel while I was walking the dog. You can say, I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. So remember that when introduces a clause in past simple and while usually introduces a clause in past continuous because when is also possible, but it's not as common. So we did this exercise, so we're not going to do it again. And also it was your turn to do this, but uh, also we did this yesterday, so we don't have to do it. What we're going to do now is this. This is the knowledge check 4.4. So it's, let's see, let me see if I can find it. Let's go, uh, this one right here. Now let's check, this is in the platform. Complete the news story, the news story using the past continuous. I have to zoom in, this is too small. Okay, complete the news story using the past continuous and the simple past use the verbs given. So drivers hit the jackpot, okay? And four leg customers. So basically you have two stories. Um, it's the same exercise that I have here in the slide. So complete the new stories using the past continuous and the simple past, use the verbs given, then compare with a partner. So we're going to try to do this together. It looks a little bit, let's see if I can improve. Well, I apologize for the poor uh, scanning quality of this material, <laughs> okay? Anyway, so um, drivers hit the jackpot. Okay, so hit the jackpot. What's the meaning of that? Hit the jackpot. Okay, hit the jackpot means um, if we had to translate, well, I'm going to give you the meaning in English. Hit the jackpot is to be very lucky usually when winning money. Okay, that's hit the jackpot. But also it can be in general being to be very lucky, okay? In Spanish, we normally say sacarse la lotería, pero no en el sentido literal de sacarse la lotería, sino que a uno le va super bien. Ah, bicho, te sacaste la lotería. So um, that means that you were very, very lucky. Okay, so hit the jackpot. So um, there you go. Divers, like the guy here in this picture, divers hit the jackpot. So I need a volunteer to read the first paragraph and I want you to, gi to give me all the answers right here. I want you to complete or to fill in all the gaps uh, in this paragraph. So who can help me? It's the same exercise from the platform, by the way. So if you have completed that, it's here. Ana Filomena, please. Okay. Why divers was working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a 
secret mm -hmm. contain gold worth two millions. Okay, before we continue, you have wild divers. Divers is plural, so that means divers. Uh huh. That's plural. So the equivalent um, subject pronoun will be they. So wild divers. Where. Uh huh. Where? It's more like Where? it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. it, no, don't worry. Where? It's okay. While divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. Can you imagine that? Okay. Finding $2 million. So, uh, Filomena, please, let's continue. Okay. Um, they discovered mm -hmm. a shipwreck containing gold worth two million. Mm -hmm. The divers were the, the filming divers. Uh, the the divers divers. were fil filming a job above the coral reef when they found <laughs> the gold. The divers were filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Wow. That's very, very lucky. Okay. They lucky. really hit the jackpot. Absolutely. Thank you, Anna. Okay. Very good. Okay, um, for the second paragraph, there are three paragraphs, okay, but one is not in the platform, so we're going to solve a new one here. We have this, four-legged customers, okay, cliente de cuatro patas. So, four-legged customers. Who wants to participate, who wants to try and do this one? Who wants to try? Boris, and then Katia, you go for the next one, I promise. Okay, so uh, Boris. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, a, a, a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street. Uh, a, a hair stylist uh, noticed noticed uh -huh. then through the window and suddenly um, had. A great idea. Mm -hmm. Later, while he was creating a new line of her care products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad her 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 days. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's four leg customers. Good. Thank you, Boris. As a woman was walking her pet poodle down the street, the poodle is a dog, a hair stylist noticed them through the window and suddenly had a great idea. Later, while he was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he came up with a new slogan. Even animals have bad hair days. What is this? This is a phrase or verb. Come up with something, okay? That means have an idea or something. That's the thing. In Spanish, we will say, se le ocurrió. <laughs> Come up with something. Ocurrirsele algo a alguien. That's the meaning of that. Come up with something. Okay, so that's a phrasal verb right there. And the third one, okay. Um, uh, Katia wanted to participate. I don't know if you still want to try or someone else. I don't know. Or not, okay. Um, someone else can participate then. Who wants to give it a try? Um, um... Okay, Katia. An ambulance driver had. Well, breakfast in a coffee shop when a woman. Maybe it's not that simple. No, teacher, sorry. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it's okay, it's fine, don't worry. Who can help us? This is not in the platform, by the way. I mean, this is a whole different teacher. exercise. Yes. An ambulance 
driver I driving was driving was oh. driving uh well but the verb is not drive the verb is have an ambulance driver was hi so yes teacher uh -huh. sorry, sorry, don't sorry, worry sorry, don't sorry. worry don't worry don't worry it's okay so uh -huh. an ambulance driver Was having was having breakfast, okay, in a coffee shop. When a woman, uh, do you want to continue, Jose? No, but I don't know that verb. Hop, hop. Hop. I don't know if it is regular mm -hmm. or irregular. It is regular when a woman hopped. Okay, hopped mm -hmm. into his ambulance and drove away. No, drove away. Drove away. It's an irregular verb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The driver, the driver, uh, Harry, I, I don't know if it's regular or not. It is regular. Uh, Harriet mm -hmm. into a phone and alerted the police. The police. The, the police. Mm -hmm. The car jacket. Car jacket. Went, the car jacket. Mm -hmm. Jacket went. Over nine miles an hour when the highway patrol finally catch uh, that's regular. Or it's not. actually irregular. But before uh, that, caught, before uh, that caught up. Uh -huh, caught up. Uh, caught up. Caught up. Mm -hmm. With her. With her. Okay, good. <laughs> However, the one before after the, the carjacker. Okay. Um what is the, the right form? The carjacker? Rent? Mm, it's not past simple. Was going. Was going. Okay. The carjacker was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally caught up with her. Okay. Se quiso robar la ambulancia. So, yeah, just rescue the ambulance. So, an ambulance driver was having breakfast in a coffee shop when a woman hopped into his ambulance and drove away. The driver hurried to a phone and alerted the police. The carjacker, okay, was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol caught up with her. Hmm? So, yes, Nadia? Teacher, what is the mean um, car, carjacker? Carjacker, okay. <laughs> okay, so before we check the meaning of carjacker, you have to know the meaning of hijack. To hijack is to illegally take control of a vehicle. Okay, hijack. So if you have, uh, for example, the terrorists, this can happen and it's very sad, a hijacked uh, the airplane, just to give you an idea. So to hijack means to illegally take control of a vehicle. But then you have the term carjack, okay, which is the same, but in a car. So a carjacker is a person who illegally takes control of a car. That's a carjacker. That's the idea. Sure. Yes. I can say uh, a bus jacker too. A bus jacker. I've never heard that term. I don't know if it's possible, but I get the idea. <laughs> a bus jacker. I don't know. I've never heard it. Okay, so I would lie to you if I told you that it is 100% uh, accurate because I don't know. But if because you don't... It, it, mm -hmm. it, Have you heard this? Before I heard when when someone oh, okay. uh, had a get sick when uh, go by car they say mm -hmm. a car ache mm -hmm. a car ache or maybe uh, something like that. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, bus jacker. Let's see if it works. Bus jacking dictionary. Well, apparently it it, it exists. I didn't find the term bus jacking, bus jacker, but I found bus jacking, which is 
It's a dictionary right here. <clears throat> countable and countable. Rare, okay, the hijacking of a bus. Yes, but but a take a look. It it reads rare. What is the no, meaning of that? Que se ocupa muy rara veces. Uh, más que yo. Okay, That's thank the meaning you, of it. Uh -huh. So uh, there you go, rare. This is a hijacking of the bus. Teacher, then it's possible with whatever kind of means of transportation, like yes, airplane I, jacker, like mm, train jacker, it's however, so on and so on. But but the thing is, it's pro, it's it's possible, I guess, because I've 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 never heard the other terms, to be honest with you. But the one that you will hear most often is hijacker. Hijacker is a more it's like an umbrella term, okay? It's a general term for all of these crimes. So you can hijack a car, you can hijack um, a plane, a train, et cetera, et cetera, or a bus even. So apparently uh, bus jacking exists, but again, as you can see here, it's rare, okay? So people don't use it very often. Hijack is much more common. Sure. Yes. Uh, the hijacker is the, the word at, at the top. This one right here, hijacking. Yeah. Ah, blend of bus plus hijacking. Yeah. What is hijacking? The act of one who hijacks, the seizure of vehicles. Ah, someone who takes control of a vehicle. The instance of such, a, such an act, like the seizure of a vehicle. Okay. Let's see. Carjacking. Carjacking exists. Session hijacking. I don't know what this is. Skyjacking. What's skyjacking? Let's see. The kidnapping of the passengers of an airplane by threat of force. Wow. Okay, now look at this one. This is a new term for me. Skyjacking is the same, but in a plane. I didn't know this. I just learned a new word with you. Skyjacking, the kidnapping of the passengers of an airplane by threat of force. The hijacking of an airplane, especially in flight. Wow. Okay, uh, Nadia and Solina. Teacher, is incorrect say airplane jacking? I guess it's incorrect because I've I, honestly I've never heard it. <laughs> so I guess it's better to say skyjacking. I guess that sounds better. <laughs> it's a long explanation. <laughs> All right. So that's the thing. The carjacker was going over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally caught up with her. Okay. Hasta que la alcanzó. That's catch up with. Okay. By the way, catch another phrase of verb. Okay, catch up with someone. Okay, alcanzar a alguien. That's the meaning of catch up with someone, alcanzar a alguien. And here we go. That's the last one. It's eight forty-eight. Wow, time flies. Um, well, we're gonna do. Uh, or we're going to start this. This is four point five lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to develop skills in listening for details, develop note taking skills, listen to new stories. So, what is this? Okay, um, this is the exercise in section <clears throat> four point six. So, if we refer back to the platform, this is not it. Wait, where's the platform? Over here. Just going to zoom out a little bit. This is 4.5, 4.6. So you have the news broadcasts. What do you have to do? Well, I want you to listen to the audio from uh, this video in section 4.6. And after that, well, this is the thing. You have to choose the right answer. So uh, what happened? And the questions are, where did the first story happen? In Australia, in Thailand, in Hollywood, California. What happened on the first story, a man was almost strangled, you know, strangled to death by a snake. Two teenage girls who disappeared were found and uh, the two police officers were rescued by the thief they were chasing, okay? And number three, uh, where did the second story happen in Australia, in Thailand, Hollywood, California? What happened on the second story? Basically, they are the same answer, so I'm not going to read them all again. Number five, where did the third story happen and what happened in the third story? So um, if you take a look at, if you watch the video, you will hear the, the a voice, you know, explaining the situation. 
but because we don't have much time, I have extracted the audio and I'm going to present it here for the rest of you. So, or for all of you, I'm sorry. So where did this, the first story happen? I'm going to play the track and I want you to listen, pay close attention, and then you tell me where it, 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 it took place and what happened, okay? So here we go. Let me know if you can hear this. Could you hear that? Okay, great. Yes, teacher. Great. Okay, I'm going to play the track. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay. Second time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. So where did the first story happen? In Thailand. In Thailand. In Thailand. Okay, and what happened on the first story? A man was almost strangled to death by a snake. A man was almost strangled, okay, to death by a snake. That's correct. Very good. Three meters and a half of a snake. Yeah, it's a three meter and a half snake. That's a very, very long snake. <laughs> very dangerous. Sounds dangerous. I, I will never put a snake around my neck. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's me. Some people like the sensation, but in my case, mm -mm. Pass. Okay, number three. Where did the story, the second story happen? And what happened in the second story? I'm going to play the track twice. Let's listen. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Second time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. So where did the second story happen? In Australia. In Australia. Good. And what happened in the second story? Mm -hmm. Two girls visit our friends in a ship and they uh, got a slip in the, in the cabin. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but what about the answers right here? <laughs> Number four. Two teenage uh -huh. girls who disappeared were found. Two teenage girls who disappeared were found. Yeah. So, yeah, what, what, what was mentioned before was also okay. Okay. But uh, the answer right here is two teenage girls who disappeared were found. Thank you very much. Um, the next one, what time is it? 8.54. Wow. It's late. We only have six minutes. So where did the third story happen and what happened in the third story? I'm going to play the track twice. Let's listen. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Second time. Early 
Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, so where did the third story happen? In Hollywood, Hollywood, California. California. Hollywood, California. And what happened on the third story? I didn't understand anything, but I know. <laughs> Two police officers were rescued by the thief they were chasing. <laughs> Everybody was talking okay. at the same time. I, I got the main idea of it. So <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. But okay. He he was maybe he was a criminal, but he was a good person. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Who knows? Okay. So um yeah, this is like uh, I don't know if you watch Netflix, the, the show Better Call Soul. They mentioned this. They say that there are criminals who are good people, they say. And there are people who are not criminals who are terrible people, they say. But okay. That's a different story. Okay, great. Time is it? 8.56. Um, but we have this. By the end of this lesson, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. I wouldn't like to begin this today, considering that there are only, um, say, uh, four minutes left to this class. So um, um, we won't be able to do much. Well, maybe we can do the conversation. Okay, that, that's probably uh, one thing we can do. And then tomorrow we were, we're going to study the grammar. So um, conversation, what happened? There's listening practice, but I don't have the audio file. So I want two volunteers, uh, one boy and one girl to help me read this. Okay, Nadia, you, we have the girl right now. One boy, please. One man to help me read this, to read uh, Brian's part. Sorry, Nadia will read Kathy's part. I'm sorry. And I need a boy to help me read Brian's part. Not everybody at the same time. Okay, Boris. <laughs> Here we go. So um, let's do it. You begin, Boris. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was working up and I had to put my stop in my locker just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I forgot to lock the locker. That's terrible. Do you lose much money? Only about a fifty dollar, but I lose my credit card and my driver license. What a pain. What a pain. Yeah, okay, thank you, uh, Nadia and Boris. So Brian says, someone stole my wallet last night. And Kathy says, oh no, what happened? Uh, Brian says, well, I was working out. That means he was doing exercise. And I had put my stuff in my locker. This is a locker, okay, right here. That's a locker. Just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. Huh? So Kathy says, that's terrible. Did you lose much money? And Brian says, only about $15. But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. You know, this is what happens when, when you lose something like this, like your, your wallet, for example. You have to get back your Dewey. You have to get back your, your debit cards, your credit cards, if you have any. Also, you need to call, you know, the, the bank and, and, and cancel these cards so that they are not used. That's the first thing that you should do. Then you should have, you have to get your Dewey back and then you have to go to the banks again and do all the process. It's a long process and it's not nice. So that's why he says, what a pain, okay? So it's like, what a problem right here. So um, this is just the introduction to it. One thing that I want you to look at is this structure. I've forgotten, okay? I had put, I had put my stuff in the locker. I had forgotten, okay? Someone had stolen. This is something that we call the past perfect, 
okay? Past perfect. And uh, for this, you will need to use past participles. This is why my advice is, if you have a list of irregular verbs, please, I need you to study the past form. I need you to review and memorize the past form. And also, you need to learn the past participle form because for this structure, we're going to need it. Okay, so remember everybody, past form, past participles. Okay, they're very important. And now it's nine, so I'm just going to call the attendance one more time. I guess just one person's missing, I believe. Uh, who, that person is Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Are you here, Alejandro Jose? I don't think so. I'm, I'm looking through the list and I don't see him. Alejandro Jose, Alejandro Jose. No, he's not here. Okay, then. And also we have Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Is Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre here? Eric, I'm just going to go through the attendance list. Let me see. No, there's no Eric. There is Erica, but no Eric. Okay. Um, okay. That's how it goes. So, um, Tomorrow, okay, we're going to study this in more detail. We have the grammar focus, and as usual, okay, there is more. Okay, you'll see that tomorrow. Okay, but chat entry. Y yo, says Francisco, Francisco, Francisco. Ya estuvo, Francisco. <laughs> ya le tomamos la asistencia. Okay, gracias, gracias. Feliz okay. <laughs> sí, ya me había dicho aquí, me mandó un mensajito que había salido de la mega trabazón. Ahí sí, que desde Santa Tecla, teacher, desde Santa Tecla hasta aquí, ahorita hay una gran ah, trabajación. Ah, por lo del accidente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, sí, que, mire, ya estuve que... casi tres horas. Mega accidente, qué guay. Sí, fue horrible, la verdad. Pero bueno, lo bueno que es solo cinco minutos tarde vine. <risa> ok, ok, great. Estaba, estaba con la cámara apagada porque estaba comiendo, ahí va a disculpar y todo. No eso. problem, no problem, I understand, I understand. <risa> ok, um, ok. Everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for your participation. It was great, okay? And um, thank you for paying attention and doing the exercises. Remember what? Remember the message uh, you got today uh, from our visitor. Please, if there are any activities in the platform that you have not completed, please complete them, okay? Because 80% of it must be completed by the end of the course, okay? It's very important. If you don't do it, you cannot pass. Okay, so thank you and good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night.